As soon as I hit a canvas, pick up a paintbrush, it's really all about like getting that emotion out first, making it real, raw and honest, whatever, wherever I am at that moment. You could see and feel the joy, and you could oh see and feel God. that. That's like, you know, and I, I think that there's something, there's a story in every one of them. It's just amazing. This whole series is moves me like there's no tomorrow because it was it's wild it's like watching the weather patterns and having it you know being in intense observation one second the wind shifts you could see light at, at different points what was happening to me is where I was emotionally was heavy heavy I did a walk with all the in a village in Ireland and we walked to a particular holy well so what you had to do was to find your rock that you were going to put into this holy water what was it that you needed to do? And I needed to leave my broken heart in Ireland. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. And I put it in that well. And I just never, never wanted to forget it. So, so I left my broken heart in Ireland. And of course, yes, that did. piece ends up being what it felt like for me. Because I left my broken heart oh my in God. Ireland. And there she is right there. It's just very powerful to me. Yeah. It moves me. It makes me feel both like um, I could cry. Like there's an exhilaration and an ache a little bit too, yeah. you know? Yeah. I am thrilled to be here at La Mama Galleria at my very first solo exhibition in New York City. I feel so excited, I'm so proud, and uh, I, first of all, I'm proud to be acknowledged this way with the solo exhibition, that's a big deal. And then also um, the work, I'm really proud of the work and what went into the work and the concept for the work. What I'm trying to do is to make the connection between moving from grief and loss and pain and vulnerability into resilience and grace. And that's really what the exhibition is about. It's called Humanity and Divinity. And capturing that little bit of divinity that is in us all is really important to me. And I believe, because I've personally experienced it, that you have to be real raw and honest with your emotions. You have to be, I have to be real raw and honest with the paintbrush and make sure that the story that I'm telling with the art is something that will resonate with another human being. was founded in 1984. I'm the fourth director to ever take over the space. I feel like a custodian because it's part of the great history of La Mama Theater, which is down the street, started by Ellen Stewart in 1964. So this actually used to be Ellen Stewart's rehearsal studio. So the energy here is fantastic. You know, the original tin ceilings and for a nonprofit arts center in New York City to have this amount of space dedicated to one artist is basically unprecedented. It's a phenomenal opportunity for any artist. It's a big space. You can have a lot of people, a lot of work. You know, you have this gorgeous feature wall here that is just draws people in from the street. And the location is divine. Everybody on the planet wants to come to 47 Great Jones Street. I think these three paintings are my favorite paintings of Helen's. I think the color work is beautiful, the energy is beautiful, I think the compositions are beautiful. I love dance. If you read the title, Bend Over Backwards, for this one, that energy, that openness, and also sometimes contorting yourself can be like these thrusts of pain and like maybe the palette knives or the materials that she used to scrape things off and put it back on. You know, it's just a stunning painting. beyond expectation it is just phenomenal so 
inspired when I see things. The emotion, the pain, the beauty, the landscapes, the beauty of them. It's just, it's just really mind-blowing. Some of them, the movement in the paintings, you feel, you see the movement, all of that. It's just wonderful. The first one that said all roads lead to Ireland, I purchased that one. The road leading, you know, you're not sure what the next path will bring to you, where life will take you, and that road is open to all of us to choose where to go. So that's what I see when I look at it. Like, what road will I take? Well, what road will I be to the next chapter of my life? If I have unlimited funds in my life, it would be that big one up there. I feel when you look at that, if anyone has ever experienced grief, that you feel that when you look at that painting. That painting says, I know what you have felt. And I feel it. So yeah, that one is my favorite. particularly like this one among all the paintings in the gallery. The black and white and the gray, the dark, the dark colors. I like the way the sort of the blue, almost, you know, the, the periwinkle, whatever, it's kind of punctuates the, the painting as well. It throws sort of a different dimension to it. So it resonates with me because I think it defines the time period we live in. And I think this idea of enough, you know, the despair, anguish, I think in this particular painting really defines that to me. Um, and I also love the fact that when you step up close, you see one dimension. And when you step across the room and look across, you see a completely different dimension. Um, and to me, it, it sort of sharpens the focus. And, and so to me, it's, it gives something to everyone to look at, um, for, depending upon the perspective of a, both where you stand and, and how your mind was, I think, framed into this time period. It's just an absolutely gorgeous show. I just want to congratulate her on just exceeding expectations all around. She's definitely a master at what she does. I was working with a coach in California. And when we got to like what my why was and like my you know, that I need to create art that's real, raw, and honest. And it came, comes down to those three things. And I think that it was successful on this wall. These stand out to me like nothing. I've, I've never been as moved. Did you, did you weep when you did this? You have no idea what happened to me as a direct result of doing them. It was painful for me to even think about putting I them in the it. show, Frank, because I can barely look at them myself. It's like when you experience that level of deep grief and horrendous pain and suffering, heartbreak, loss, and move from that painful place and move from there to resilience and grace. Then it's, I had to do this first and then it, all of a sudden it started coming out like in a different way. I just want to thank all of my family, friends, everybody that helped put this together. Believe me, couldn't have been done alone. And just say how grateful I am. I feel really grateful, humbled and blessed. So first show in New York City, not the last.